do side chicks have more fun? And always feel free to comment your opinion down below too. You guys ready to hear about the time I was a side chick? I had a lot of fun with this guy. Got a lot of free stuff. But it was not worth it. Maybe it was. Damn. I was really liking the princess treatment. Not gonna lie. Watch to the end because it's finna get messy. Welcome to my channel. I'm Katai Bria. Make sure you guys are subscribing because we're lit over here. Duh. Today's video is obviously sponsored by Dossier. Now, I have two of my favorite scents right here. This is Floral Lang Yang Yang. I messed that up. It's Floral Yang Yang. And this one is Citrus Green Apple. I was very surprised that I like this one because I don't be liking green apple scents. But this slap okay make sure you guys get you some dossier the link will be down in the description box below get you some money off too boo get you some money off too thanks dossier let's get into this juicy story time because that's really why y'all are here trying to be nosy you're messy you're messy i had the burning question do side chicks have more fun than the mains comment down below your answer right now don't cheat but listen to my story i'm about to tell a story time and don't you get no damn ideas okay all right motherfuckers. y'all remember i did that story time a while ago kind of went a little viral about losing my v card remember that boy that i was with this is all because of him so the heartache i got from him gave me a blessing in disguise and a bigger blessing because now i can tell it to you after that relationship fizzled dwizzled out my first somewhat real boyfriend he broke my heart horrible whatever tomato 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 abandoned me like you need to go watch that story time i'll link it down below i was going through this phase of you know what i'm single but i'm heartbroken my best friend she told me uh, -uh we're not doing the simp shit. like we're not gonna sit here and soak and be depressed you need to just get back out there we're too young to go to clubs right now i was barely 18 and still in high school basically my friend told me to get on tinder i get on tinder of course everybody swipes right on me duh this one grown ass man Swiped right on me. So we start chatting it up, you know, in a sip on. We were talking for a few days. Never really planned a day to like meet each other in person. It was just like the talking stage. I used to have this best friend and he's a boy. Me and him used to go to the movies all the time. And when I say friend, don't be like, oh yeah, I was going to the movie. No, 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 no. I'm his son's godmom. Like that was my friend. So don't don't get it twisted. We were at the movies one day and I started talking to this boy and I'm gonna name this boy Quell. Oh, I'm gonna name him Quell. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Can you get my ass beat? Quill texts me like, where you at? I'm like, oh, I'm at the movies. I'm here with my friend. Which I didn't notice. Like, why am I texting this boy that I'm here with another boy at the movies? Even though he doesn't know that we're just friends. That's kind of weird. Red flag on my end. Ooh. I should have lied. I should have lied. I let him know I'm at the movies. And he's like, okay, I'm going to pull up to the movie. This is, a, we're in the middle of the movie, boy. Like, if you want to date me, you have to actually, like, don't, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. I'm worth more than that. You're not just going to pull up on me and that's our first date. Especially when we're in the middle of the movie. So technically, you didn't even pay for me. Come on now. So he's like, I know you don't drive, so I'll pick you up after the movie and we can go get some food. I'm like, all right, bet. After the movie though, it's like 10 o'clock at night. There's nothing really open but in and out If you're a Californian, you already know. in and out is like damn near 24 hours. in and out and like maybe a 24-hour McDonald's. Like what type of date? So I dropped the location of the movie theater and after the movie's done, I let him know, okay, the movie's done. You can come pick me up now because that's an Uber I didn't have to pay for because me nor was driving. He shows up to the movie theater. He meets I have first he's like looking at me a little sideways because like who is this guy like did you just have me pick you up from another date but I just explained to him like this is like my brother down there like we're family basically so he was cool with it and he's like yo why don't we just watch another movie all three of us type of date like I don't want to be adding people on as a third whip this boy padded on his shoulder and ran into a movie theater that should have been my first red flag 
went into that same like the actual doors of the movie like we're inside the movie theater but he actually went into the door of the movie he runs in there so i'm standing out in the hall like fight or flight like legit like that's how i was feeling fight or flight am i gonna steal a movie or am i gonna be like let me go pay for my ticket because clearly nobody else is gonna guess what i did oh you thought i was about to pay for another <laughs> Shit, I went in there too. We basically all stole a movie. I don't remember what the movie was. It was funny though. After the movie, we all decided to go to In-N-Out. We start walking to Quell's car. I get in the front, he gets in the front. My friend gets in the back. He goes, oh, you have a kid. I said, what? It's dark outside. I didn't even know he, like when I got in the front, I didn't see shit in the back. I wasn't being a typical girl when I got in that car. Cause you know, as girls, bitch, we're investigating everything. I got in the car so nonchalant and so gullible. I don't know why. The me now, bitch, I'm Inspector Gadget. Whose blonde hair is this type shit? You have a kid? At this time, I'm 18. I ain't never dated a person with a kid. Fuck you mean you got a kid? This this man was way, way older than me anyway. He was like 25, bro. 25. Yeah, he had a kid. Yes. But that shocked the shit out of me. Like, I legit looked at him. You got a kid? And he's like, oh yeah, I got a son. <laughs> and honestly, what I seen that little boy's picture, he the pep. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's his kid. That is most definitely his a hundred and a hundred percent not 99.9 a hundred there is no even baby mama that's his kid speaking of baby mamas ooh, just stick with the story time don't click out don't click out because she gonna come into the mix in a little bit but let's 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 stay on track let's stay on track so i peeped that but he's paying for me and it. we finna get a free meal and a free ride because we wasn't driving <laughs> get <My legs> are <laughs> out I have jello arms. I've been taking that kettlebell and I've been out oh, there to do it, but I've been doing this. Mm -hmm. I've been doing 30. Yeah. You should do that too. Why? Because I love you. Because I don't want the light to show like I have black nipples, you know? <laughs> Let me know when you want to eat. You hungry? When you're ready. Oh, I'm about to be in here batch crating. When you're ready to go to sleep, I'm gonna be in there batch crating. I'm very energized. Get it. I'll probably be up here. Okay. Where the fuck else are you? I spent. All right, all right, I love you. You made me forget where I was. Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. My bad. We go to in and out. And I questioned the hell out of him about this kid because I'm like, okay, if you got a kid, clearly you're not the female who had the baby. I need to know. I need to know. This is some information you need to go ahead and give me while I'm being nice enough to ask. He told me he's not even from California. He's from a whole nother state, which that's where the baby is too. And the baby mama. After he explains all that to me, we eat. We finish eating. He takes him first and then he drops me off. So he thought... <laughs> That was our first date. So he was finna come get something. Boy, I live with my mama. You ain't getting shit from here. Not from this house. And I don't do stuff in the cars no more. At this point, I was over car stuff. You need to go watch this story time. I promise you. Watch the story time. Now, while I'm over here doing my big one, I did, however, give him that first date kiss. Baby, I'm grown. I could do that much. And I can tell he was just way more experienced than me. I mean, hence the age and that he's a boy. He was way more experienced. He really thought he was about to get some punani out of me. He walked me to my front door and basically was ready to walk me inside of my house as well. Skirt, skirt, I'm a lady, baby. Bye-bye. Send him on his way. That's what I like to do. I like to get him. And then say deuces. <sighs> Just feeds my ego. About a month goes by of us like talking. We never made it official. I was really liking the princess treatment. And through all that, I forgot he had the damn kid. Like I, it, it really like it went whoop, like in one ear and out the other. Right over my head type shit. I don't know how the fuck you can forget somebody has kids. My mans. Who's not my mans but my mans? I forgot he had a baby. 
I really did. Part of the reason I forgot he had a kid is because we literally just spent like damn near every day together. Like every day, days we weren't spending together, we was on FaceTime. So I'm used to like FaceTiming at this point. But one specific day, he FaceTimed me at like five, six o'clock in the morning. It was legit like about to be six o'clock in the morning. I'm no booty call. I'm not giving up coochie. I'm not, no. I did not answer this phone call because it makes no sense. You know I'm asleep. It's not an emergency. And if it is, I can't help you out in anything. So so what are you calling me for? It completely pissed me off because he knew I worked. I need my sleep. Don't interrupt me. He called multiple times y'all and I was declining multiple times to the point where I put my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> all the wi-fi everything off like what the fuck what what do you need i just felt so disrespected you know my schedule baby we've been hanging out you know my schedule don't play with me this man called me so many times when i finally woke up and saw all those missed calls i texted him and i was like what he called me over a hundred times y'all facetiming and regular calling after i texted him what he never texted me back that's weird i called him like maybe an hour later and went the fuck off Whose time are you playing with? Cause you can't be playing with me. You too fucking little to be. <gasps> At first he was acting like he didn't know what I was so mad about. He's like, what are you talking about? I said, boy, check your call log and see what I'm talking about. Look at how many times you just called me. Truthfully, at first, he didn't know what I was, he was serious. He wasn't lying. He didn't know what I was talking about and why I was so mad. He had no idea. I think for him, he put two and two together and was like, Oh, snap. Ooh, it's about to get juicy, y'all. It's about to get messy, bitch. He realized what had happened. So what do guys do? Make up a lie. And he made it up quick. Instantly hits me with the, you know what? Oh my God, baby girl, I am so sorry. I was trying to get your clothing size. I wanted to get us some matching gear. And unfortunately, at the time i did not see that as a red flag me being called that many times that's crazy that's crazy something's not right here basically i bought the story i accepted it that's my fault as an apology he actually came and picked me up and we went shopping we went to victoria gardens and we also went to ontario mills baby those are the malls if you're from san bernardino we go shopping we go get some food and it was like a wonderful day but all things must come to an end when we went back to his car oh yeah somebody was mad at him somebody was pissed fucked up his entire car <gasps> missing two tires cracked the windshield demolished gone down there it was still in the glass frame but it was fucked up gas tank that little door was open I don't know if anything was in there, but I do know it was open. Oh, he was mad. He is a cars person. He was pissed. I've never seen him like that. He was mad. Angry. He was an angry one. He's flipping out. I'm kind of internally freaking out because I'm like, dang, he just bought me all this. And he's going to want to return it so he can fix his car. I was horrible. That's actually a horrible way to think. I should have been thinking like, what the fuck just happened to his car? His car was not on my mind. And it took me to say that out loud for me to realize, bitch. But I mean, hey, that's just where my thought process was, like on some real shit. So he decides he's gonna call the police. In the meantime, he's gonna get me an Uber to go back home with my stuff, <gasps> thankfully. As soon as I got home, I couldn't help but text him just to make sure he was okay. That's when it actually it settled in with me and I was just like, oh fuck. I don't know how it didn't dawn on me that this is some shit a female would do. Like this is not nothing a group of guys would do because they're hating on you. This is a bitch activity. I know, I know, trust me. The next day I went with him to a car dealership so he could get a new car because clearly he needed a new car, which I didn't mind. I wanted to look around, see if I could get me one too, you know? I didn't get a car, bitch. He found what he liked. We went to eat, drove me home. That's all she wrote for the night, right? Wrong. <laughs> the same night, all them FaceTimes, remember how he did that before? It happened again. I received so many FaceTimes. It was like the same thing. So it really made me mad. Like when you tell somebody don't do something and they do it again, oh, now they got you really fucked up. They had you fucked up before, but now it's, it's for real. <laughs> it's it, intentional. Without talking to him, I just immediately blocked the number. Because at this point, clearly, you don't want to be involved with me. You guys, comment down below, story time, if you stuck with me this far. I just need to see who's actually paying attention <clears throat> before we get into the real good stuff. Because it's about to go down. So the next day, guess what I decided to do? The same thing he did to me. Because I couldn't let it go. I wanted to be a little petty, honestly. Around 
Five o'clock. The ring, ring, ring. Per wrestle. I pulled a him on him. Fucking with my sleep. That's where you had me fucked up. You could have took all your shit back. Wouldn't have had me fucked up. Messing with my sleep. Oh yeah, it's going down. But the gag is, he didn't answer the phone, y'all. He was not the person that answered the phone. Comment down below who y'all thought answered the damn phone. Bitch. His baby mama. The one in a whole nother state answered the phone. But she in a whole nother state answering the phone in a whole nother state. But you out here in Cali with me. This bitch answers the phone. And I'm sorry to say this, bitch. Because realistically, I was the side. I was not the main. I never became his girlfriend or nothing. But I'm gonna say this, bitch, because that's how I feel. <gasps> this bitch answers the phone. As soon as the phone answered, I heard a loud door slam. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what you got going on over there, bruh? The door slams. She hears my voice and ran into, I don't know if it was the bathroom, another room, ran out the house, whatever, with his phone. Got on the phone with me and went off, cussing me out completely. This my baby daddy. We have a kid together. Two houses, a dog, businesses, an apartment, cars. She was just flipping out. She was just pissed. She was pissed. It clicks to me. Oh, this is the bitch that fucked up his car. Who would have thought? What? He deserved it? What? Like, I never would have thought. I was so gullible. I don't, I don't know why I was so gullible. Maybe because I was so young. But I was so gullible. Be mindful that the, she's still flipping out and cussing me out on the phone, right? Because I didn't hang up. I just put two and two together and got four instead of three. I'm thinking, but she's still on the phone cussing me out. Telling me, basically, to leave her baby daddy alone. But, like, a girl slash dumbass. I cussed her ass right back out. Who the fuck are you talking to? I didn't listen to her. We just started going at it. I wasn't taking in what she legit was saying as we're going back and forth over the phone i hear a big pop i know it was a hit somebody got hit it was one of those i heard somebody got hit she starts screaming and crying i hear him going off and then the phone hangs up randomly it's just the phone just hung up after that and about an hour later because at this point i blocked his phone you got me fucked up and i'm thinking about changing my phone number because now this bitch has access to my information an hour goes by he's at my front door it's kind of early in the morning so i go ahead and sit in his car and talk to him because i don't want to be those neighbors outside arguing i'm a nosy bitch i love to see that but i don't want it to be me are you the same way comment down below and let me know if you nosy too bitch because i know you nosy i know you nosy I know. As soon as I got in the car, I was going off. You lied to me about a whole nother female. And I had to hear it from this bitch's mouth. In the midst of me going off, out of the blue, he scares skirt and drives. Locks the door, drives. So I'm thinking, oh shit. Like at that point, I stopped going off because I just got kidnapped. Like, I'm pretty sure you're mad, sir. So let me shut the fuck up. That's how I was feeling. He just took me to IHOP though, which I'm thankful. I mean, I, I, I was kidnapped, but at least I was fed. Realized I wasn't in danger like I thought I was. So we just start arguing. We go inside, still silently arguing, but arguing for real, for real. Because I felt so disrespected. Why would you put me in that type of position? If you're not single, why are you on Tinder? Or why are you going out on dates and spoiling me? You got a, a whole family. Married or not, you messy. You messy. This man explains to me, and I don't know why at the time I believed it. He explains to me that she came out here from Timbuktu with their son to drop him off, left, came back, and broke in his house. Telling me his baby mama broke into the crib and that his baby mama is crazy. Like, you know, the, the typical baby mama card that niggas pull. They say that all the time. There's something wrong with the baby mama. She's just crazy for no reason. For no reason. I didn't do nothing. She's crazy. Like, I didn't think... Wait a minute, because I got these weird calls another night that you didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't think that far. I just kind of believed him, which was dumb on my part. My bad. I'm a girl. We do dumb shit like that all the time. That's how we learn. I have been to his house a couple of times, and there was no signs of a female like living there. No clothes, no hair supplies, no flat irons. Because if it was some flat irons in the cabinet, I would have took them, bitch. It was nothing. <clears throat> nothing. It looked like a man's house. And that's probably why I believed him. We're enjoying our delicious meal. And guess who pulls up? It's baby mama. We all have iPhones. She tracked his phone, came to that IHOP, and as soon as she saw my face, the bitch went for it. She's like my height. She's way bigger than me. Well, she had a baby. Even though the baby's a few years old, she still had a baby. So that can contribute to that. She was short, fat, and angry. She 
flew at me as soon as she saw me. Cause I don't know if she knew what I looked like prior, but she knew I was sitting with her baby daddy. I was sitting with her mate. When I saw the big bitch coming towards me, you know what I did? Cause I was sitting down eating. I got my ass up. I ran around the table. Cause I was like, what the fuck bitch? Beat his ass. Why are you trying to fight me? Why are you being weird to me? As soon as I saw her running up, I instantly got up. I know what time it is. Whether I'm about to win or lose this fight, I know what time it is. I saw her first, so Quell didn't see her come in yet, but he heard the commotion. So he instantly got up, start scanning the room, and you know, caught her from like reaching me. And she's whooping his ass because I'm her boyfriend's side chick. What did I do? I didn't do nothing wrong, but it's not like I knew about her. He was lying to the both of us. That's not my fault. So while she's whooping his ass, I'm just sitting there waiting on my opportunity because after they're done fighting, I'm whooping the bitch's ass because she ran up on me, baby. That, all that energy, that was for me. So you guys go ahead and do your thug thizzle. I'm just sitting back waiting for her to break through so I can pull some WWE shit out on her ass. Oh, well, WWE ain't it. Some AEW shit, Impact Wrestling shit off on her ass. She don't know, I'm, I've been a wrestling fan. At least that's what I thought I could do in my head. After she hits him in the face a few times, cause she was whooping his ass, but it was like body shots, like this man's tall. But she got him in the face a couple of, a couple, she got, so she got some hits in. And you can tell he felt embarrassed. So he's trying to cover and she's attacking him. Gets loose from him. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go, cause the bitch ran up on me again. It's about to go down. You got me fucked up. I don't know if you think I'm gonna just sit there and let you beat my ass. Win, lose, or draw, I'll always fight back. We touched each other like the initial hits. She ran up, I hit her, she used our weight, and we started to fall, but he grabbed her before anything. Like, we, we, we didn't even get a chance to fight for real, for real. He grabbed this girl and slung her across the entire fucking restaurant in front of everybody in front of all those white people as he flung her he followed where the hell her body was going she hit the ground and that's when his feet start going he starts stomping this girl out and i'm thinking to myself i'm not about to sit here and do this ghetto ass shit with this guy and his bitch like this makes no sense for me to even be here why am I here? Unfortunately, a bitch couldn't drive. But I'm sitting here trying to figure out why the fuck am I here? What did I get myself into? So I secretly request my Uber. Because what the fuck? I don't need to be here for this. I don't want to see this domestic violence. I honestly didn't even want to see him like that. It didn't seem like he was that type of person, you know, to put his hands on a female like that. I also secretly requested my Uber because clearly this man didn't mind putting his hands on bitches. And who else is in here? Oh yeah, it's me, baby. <laughs> I'm not, uh, toodles, you feel me? I'm not about to be next. I'm not about to get my ass beat from this seven footer. At this point, they're both on the floor fighting. He's really like degrading her in a way that just made the whole room feel uncomfortable. Nobody was jumping in to break it up. He was calling her worthless bitch, all types of bitches and hoes. Like he was really disrespecting her. He did more than physically abuse her, he mentally abused her. And she's just on the floor crying. At that point of me seeing this woman cry, I didn't want to fight. After seeing that, I, was, I wasn't I was trying to fight no more. I was just like, you know what? Let me get the fuck out of here. Like, I gotta go. In IHOPs, they have like a long hallway. I'm like inching to go towards the hallway, hoping and praying that neither of these buffoons see me. As soon as I hit the beginning of the hallway, didn't even get to enter the hallway, he spots me, bitch. Got off the ground and start booking it towards me. So guess what I did? I stood up. No, bitch. I fucking ran. The fuck I look like fighting so I'm five two. Like I said earlier. Seven footer? No. No, man. I don't want them problems. I don't want to get beat. So as he's chasing me, he's like, are you serious? Are you for real? You gonna leave? Are you for real? Like, yes, nigga, I'm gonna leave. The fuck I look like? He's like, I gave everything up for you. I gave everything up for you. For you. Before I could get to the door, he basically caught up to me. Five, two, seven footer, damn near. It took nothing, okay? It took nothing. He's in front of the door. I'm trying to get the hell out of the door, but I'm sitting there scared because I'm like, he's gonna beat me up. I thought he was gonna whoop my ass completely. So we're in the doorway, like tussling. I'm trying to get out and he's trying to keep me in, close the door every time I would try to slightly open it. My Uber's outside and I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to get that five dollar fee. Ooh. At the time it was five dollars. I don't know how much it is now. I did not want that fee. This bitch sees us tussling and decides to get in the middle of it. 
she runs up even though i did not want to fight this girl the bitch is running up i don't have no choice you could do me in the comments below but guess what with all of my might i hit that bitch like with her momentum plus mine oh my god she ran up as soon as she got up close enough i start running up hit that bitch straight in the face she does not fall stumbles a little bit does not fall okay that bitch got some weight on me i will say but that don't mean shit bitch i'ma still try and we just start fighting <laughs> grabbed this girl by her hair and her hair was real and she, <laughs> I'm out of breath oh bitch he <sighs> took that bitch out flings her on the damn floor I see this as okay the door is open I'm looking on the floor trying to find my damn phone because I didn't have no purse because he kidnapped me didn't have my keys he kidnapped me I shouldn't have even been here I'm looking for my shit now I'm heading to the uber as soon as I hit the motherfucking door that uber turned around and fucking left and I was like, oh my fucking gosh. I'm on my phone trying to hurry up and, and order a, another Uber real quick. Hopefully I get the same one or somebody closer because I, ASAP, ASAP. SOS, SOS. Hap me, nigga. So I'm ordering another Uber trying to hurry up. I'm trying to still walk around too because there's more places. This is the IHOP on University. If you're a San Bernardino native, you know what I'm talking about. But at Walmart is, bitch. Ooh, we here with it. So I'm legit walking, trying to walk. There is other places around. I'm trying to get away from this IHOP though on some real shit so I can continue to call my Uber. Called another Uber. He's coming at me, not like running, but he's coming towards me and he's still saying the same thing. So you're just gonna leave? You just gonna leave? I done did this for you. I said, fuck my family, fuck my baby mama. I done spent so much money on your ass. You're just gonna leave? You're just gonna leave? You're just gonna leave? That's when the waterworks comes. He starts crying. Ladies, when a guy cries, it's not real. Don't believe this shit. You guys know how a guy will like try to grab you and hug you and like hold on to you and I'm just sitting here like don't touch me, don't touch me, like get the fuck off me, go with your bitch, like you lied to me. My Uber pulls up, I'm trying to get in the car, he's still like pulling me and holding me and I'm just like bro I want to leave, like I would like to go, I, I don't want to be here no more. The manager of the IHOP was like yo, you need to come pay this tab, saved me, saved me. So he legit starts dragging me into the IHOP. And my Uber notices and he's like, hey, are you, you're Tyvee, right? You're Tyvee? And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to leave. He's not letting me leave. He's like, oh, let her go. Like, come on, we have to go. We have to go. And I have people are like, yo, dude, you need to pay. You need to pay. He's like, oh my gosh, okay, come come with me to pay real quick. I'm like, all right, fine, but don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. The door was open because I was trying to get in the door of the car. So keep that in mind. So I'm like, whatever, whatever. So we start walking. This is so dumb. My ass, as soon as he got in that door, I tried to close it. It doesn't close because it's one of those doors that open like that and closes slowly. I tried to close the door, couldn't close the door. I ran in my motherfucking Uber. Uber driver's still outside, but I'm in my damn Uber. I done put the, 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 the what's that shit called? The lo door lock? I done put that down. All the other doors are unlocked, but whatever. I wasn't thinking like that. He gets in the Uber. Uber driver finally hops in the car and starts skirt skirting off. As I'm leaving, you know me. I'm not gonna let that shit go. I roll my window down. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. At this point, I can say what the fuck I want to say. Because you can't beat my ass right here. So I just start going off saying my last little goodbyes. Because after this, you'll never see me again. I think I did my big one, to be honest. Skirt skirt pulled off in that bitch fuck him and fuck her honestly she was a weird ass bitch because honestly she didn't even give me a chance to say yo your dude lied to the both of us i mean honestly i don't know if i would ever give another woman that chance either because i would be so blinded in rage so like i understand where she's coming from and that's a fucked up feel like even in front of her he was still choosing me i don't know how i would feel if that happened so for that i do have compassion and i have sorrow for her like i feel sorry for her i hope she learns how to love to herself i hope she moves on i blocked that boy on everything and i never heard from him again never heard from her again i didn't even know the bitch's name but that's my side chick story time comment down your opinions below because i need to know how you guys are feeling make sure you guys like comment and subscribe as a side chick i had a lot of fun with this guy got a lot of free stuff but it was not worth it maybe it was maybe it was damn i should have seen you was trouble right from the start Taught me so many lessons, how not to mess with broken hearts So many questions, when this began we was the perfect match Perhaps we had some problems but we working at it And now the arguments are getting loud I wanna stay, but I can't help from walking out Let's go with a wave, just take my hand and understand If you could see, 
I never planned to be a man, it just wasn't me. But 